I have come to tell you what has happened at the late Honorable Jacob Olanya's home that is in Muyenga. <laughs> this is funny. This is funny. I don't know if you're going to find it funny, but to me, I feel like this is really funny. I'm going to judge you. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. But before we go into that story, uh, finally, the government of Uganda through the Minister of ICT, that is uh, Chris Bariomosi, has confirmed that on Friday this week, the members of parliament are going to vote for the next speaker of parliament and uh, that is provided for in the constitution of uganda yes chris bariomosi that is the minister of ict has confirmed that uh, you know the members of parliament on friday are going to vote for the next speaker of parliament subject article 814 of this constitution that's the constitution of uganda no business shall be transacted in parliament other than an election to the office of speaker at any time that office is vacant. Now, pursuant to that provision of the constitution, cabinet took a decision that parliament, the parliament of Uganda shall convene on Friday this week, the 25th of March 2022, to fill the vacancy of the speaker. However, they haven't confirmed the barrier arrangements. Bariomosi says they are going to communicate very, very soon. He says that uh, the public should disregard all those on social media that are trying to communicate the barrier arrangements for the late Honorable Jacob Olanya. Now, in other news, Jacob Olanya's brother, that is uh, Francis Omona, has surprised Ugandans after announcing that uh, as a family of Jacob Olanya, they are going to present someone who is going to contest in the next speakership race in parliament. Yes, Francis Omona is a brother to the late Jacob Olanya, and um, he has said that uh, as a family of Jacob Olanya, they are going to present someone who is going to contest in the next speakership race in parliament. Now, Francis Omona said this statement as he addressed the mourners at Jacob Olanya's home that is in Muyenga. And right now, very many questions are lingering in people's minds. First of all, people are questioning that, do they have another member of parliament in their family? Because I think to be a speaker in parliament, you must be in parliament. So a section of Ugandans are questioning that, do they have another member of parliament in their family? But also some Ugandans are questioning that, are Ugandan political positions becoming inherited? And by the way, this is becoming like a culture in Uganda. Let me try to remind you, uh, recently when we lost the governor of Bank of Uganda, Emmanuel Tumusime Mutebile, the people of Chigezi came out and uh, requested President Museveni to appoint another person from the same region. And right now we have uh, the family of uh, Jacob Olanya kind of doing the same. So really, it looks like that's the way Uganda is taking right now. But personally, I think that is not right. I don't know what you think about this culture. Uh, if it is what we are taking, I don't know what you think about it, but uh, I feel like this is not right. Yeah, so uh, that is it for now from uh, the late horrible Jacob Olanya's camp. And of course, I will keep you posted. I told you this is funny. I don't know if you have found this funny. To me, that is really very, very funny. But um, uh, we are waiting for the speakership press that will be on Friday just like the government has communicated and right here on the Buzz UG I'll keep you posted I told you whatever that is newsworthy about Jacob Olanya I must keep you posted so what you have to do is a subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications thank you